In Benin, like pretty much everywhere else in Africa, maize is amongst the most grown cereal crop. Whether used for human consumption, as an animal food, or even for industrial purposes, maize plays an important role. Growing maize is a very profitable activity. But a farmer doesn't really benefit from the fruits of his effort unless he follows the various steps involved in maize production and good practices during and after harvest. As an important step in the process leading to quality grain, harvesting is an activity that is prepared and carried out by following some recommended practices. To make your harvest successful, which steps should you take before starting and how should you harvest your maize? <laughs> this is what we will learn from this video. Maize is harvested when it is fully ripe. But before harvesting, you should take some steps which can be summarized in four main points, namely choose a harvest method, choose the harvest date, ensure the cleanliness of harvesting installation and tools, mobilize the workforce. Let's examine these points one by one. The first thing is to decide which harvest method you will use. In some areas, the choice of a harvest method is based on peculiarities of the climate. Let's listen to Benjamin Aru, one of the officials responsible for maize post-harvest management in northern Benin. In the southern part of the country, harvest is carried out whilst in the husk because there are two dry seasons and two rainy seasons. The drying time is so short that the farmers prefer to continue drying the maize in a wooden granary while waiting for the longer dry season. In the northern part, there is only one dry season and one rainy season. So the dry season is relatively longer. That is why harvest is carried out in the field at the same time as the husking is done to get the cobs. As the dry season is longer, the cobs can be dried to reduce losses from insect attacks. Now that you know your harvest method, the next thing to do is to find out when to harvest, that is, to choose a date. There are several signs that tell you when your maize is mature and can be harvested. Farmer Pauline Yaketua tells us about some of these signs. The signs that tell us that maize is ready to be harvested First of all, the foot of the maize plant starts turning yellow and the hair on the tip of the maize cob starts to fall. When it becomes so, we say to ourselves that our maize is ready to be harvested. To find out whether your maize is mature, you can also check the hardness of the grain to see whether they are shiny, yellowish and bright. You can check the hardness of the grains by pressing your fingernail into the cob. If there are no wounds, that is, strokes of the grains, then your maize is fully ripe. So you should choose the date of harvest without further delay. Because a late harvest can put your maize at risk of pest attacks and also delay the next crop. Yeah. 
Don't let maize stalks lean towards the ground before harvest. Because when they lean towards the ground, it is already late to harvest. Now that you have chosen a harvest date, what is next? The third thing to do is to get ready for harvest. You should get ready by checking the state of your granaries, emptying and cleaning not only inside the granaries but also the surroundings or any other installation where you intend to store your maize. You should also clean your harvesting tools, including your basins, tapaulins, and bags, as well as the drying areas. Let's listen to Joaline Idogu a maize producer in Benin. If maize is mature, you should choose a harvest date. Invite people to help you. You prepare cleaned containers. Prepare and clean the area where you want to spread your maize. Sweep the ground and spread the tapaulin because there are insects and worms in the ground that can contaminate your maize. The fourth thing to do is to ensure workforce availability before starting the harvest. Constance Nata, president of the Farmers Association of Kongo in northern Benin, explains why. For a large farm, without workforce, I can't harvest my maize alone. That is why I sometimes invite members of the association to help me. Because if the harvest is not done in time, insects like weevils will attack the grain. Some maize plants will fall down and the termites will eat them. So harvest becomes a problem and we can't have healthy maize to store for sale during the lean season. To motivate the workforce, Constance offers a local beer while a meal is cooked. <laughs> when her field has been harvested, Constance and other members of the association will go to the field of another farmer, who is a member of the association, to help them harvest the maize and so on. Now that you have followed the four things to do before harvest, all you need to do is to harvest. But how to harvest? During harvest, some practices are recommended, while others are to be avoided in order to minimize contamination by insects and diseases. If you grow several varieties of maize in your field, it is recommended to harvest first the improved varieties because they are less resistant to attacks compared to local varieties. To avoid bringing to your home maize husks infected by pests, you should dehusk your maize directly in the field. Farmer Fejus Tabita gives us some reasons. Harvest maize by dehusking it directly in the field because Maize leaves always carry foreign bodies and insects. And if you don't dehusk in the field, you can bring to your home these insects and foreign bodies and they will infect your maize, which needs to be healthy and of good quality. So do it in the field. It also prevents you from having to deal with lots of twigs at home. You leave this in the field so that you fertilize your field for the next season. Et ces brindilles là vous les laissez dans le champ et ça fait que vous engraissez le champ pour la saison prochaine. So, we have learned that at the time of harvest, we should not only dehusk but also sort the maize cobs 
by putting aside those that have been attacked or are moldy and burn them. After sorting her maize cob in the field, Constance sorts them again at home to make sure the maize she wants to thaw is healthy. Now you can dry and store your maize. What have we learned from this video? Maize should be mature before being harvested. But you should prepare for harvest by preparing and cleaning your granaries, basins, tarpaulins, bags, drying areas, and other facilities. You know that your maize is mature when the leaves and the husks start to dry and turn yellow when the hair on the tip of the maize cob starts to fall and when the grains become hard and shiny. <laughs> Choose a harvest date and start with improved varieties and end with local varieties which are more resistant to attacks. Regardless of the way you want to store, you should dehusk your maize in the field to avoid bringing pests to your home. Properly sort your maize in the field. Burn the cobs that have been attacked and store the healthy ones. Here we have growing maize for about 10 years. Our previous way of producing, we had too much loss. After harvest, we used to mix everything and store it, and we had too much loss. But now, we have learned a lot about post-harvest practices. So our losses have now been reduced substantially. And we have greatly benefited from that. Until August, we shall have products for sale and for growing new crops. When you properly follow good harvesting practices, your maize will be healthy, it can be stored for a longer period of time, and you will benefit from the fruits of your efforts.